YouTube, fight fans all over the world, it's your boy, the realest of the real, yes sir, I said it, Real Talk Boxing, it is a privilege, an honor, and a blessing to be back with you good people again. I didn't work out today, y'all, I did, man, I ate like crap today, I ate a lot of carbs, I ate a buttload of potatoes and bread, and I feel like a real fat dude right now, Um, feel real sluggish. But I'm not going to work out. <laughs> I'm going to take a day off, and in the morning, I'm going to get up early, and I'm going to try to go jog two miles, man. Try. Notice notice I said try. I can at least get a mile in there. Listen, this is my reaction to, I know I'm kind of late, so forgive me, um, but this is my reaction to Clarissa Shields' victory, getting the win in her MMA debut. Um, I had a feeling that she could pull it off. Um, I, I had stated before that Brittany Elkin wasn't that good, but she has 12 years experience and that's 12 years experience that Clarissa Shields does not have. Clarissa Shields faced adversity, um, numerous takedowns, uh, was losing two rounds. She was two rounds down and, and she came out in the third round and the dog came out. The dog came out. There is nothing more satisfying. Now, having a victory is, is always satisfying, but it's more satisfying and when you get a victory after facing adversity, after weathering the storm, so to speak. When you go out in, in, in the early parts of the rounds or the early parts of the fight, you're getting your butt whooped and you man up, you woman up, and, and, and you just say, you know what, forget this. I'm better than this. And you turn the tables and actually get the victory, that's a beautiful feeling. And Clarissa Shields should be very, very proud. But here's what I really want to talk about. The UFC community. The UFC community, I think, is way more respectful than the professional boxing community. There were so many people that reached out and congratulated Clarissa Shields on her win in the UFC community. We had John Bones Jones. You had Ben Askren. Um, you had um, Chris Cyborg. Uh, you had uh, uh, what's her name? Nunos. Amanda Nunos. Hope I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Uh, you, had a, you had a handful of professional MMA fighters reaching out and saying congratulations. You pulled it off. You should be proud. Um we know you have a long way to go, uh, you know, developing your attributes in this sport, but you, you did the unthinkable. And I, I want to, I just want to commend the UFC community for being so respectful and being 100 with Clarissa Shields and her victory. Cause they could have hated on her. They could have hated on her just like the boxing community hated on Conor McGregor. You know what I'm saying? They didn't show him a lot of love when, when he lost against Floyd Mayweather. I give him his credit. I give him his credit. You know what I'm saying? He he came in in and, and, and uncharted territory and, and and did his thing. And not only that, got the huge bag at that too. So, But the boxing community is so totally different from the UFC community, man. And it's just, I wish, I've stated it before, that professional boxing as a whole was more like the UFC community. Because they showed Clarissa mad love. Mad love. You know, and, and they didn't have to do that. They could have hated on her. They could have critiqued her. They could have did everything known to man to shun and, and, and take down her victory, to piss on her parade. But they didn't do that. They opened their arms and they said, welcome. We appreciate it, man. If you need some help, there was a lot of them who even said, if you want you want to up your game, come train with us. And, and what does that say about the UFC community? It says a lot. So... Clarissa Shields came out in the third round, got the TKO stoppage on the ground, actually, which was, you know, kind of surprising to me. I thought she was going to do it standing up, but she was on the ground, man. And she said, I had to do what I had to do. I let the dog out and I did what I had to do, man. So shout out and big ups to Clarissa Shields for this victory. Uh, I'm looking forward to see more. I'm, I'm hoping that her skills develop more so. I'm hoping that she starts getting paid in the manner that she should be getting paid. Um, but that right there could be a problem too. You know what I'm saying? A newbie coming in and, and getting paid more than the veterans, getting paid more than the people who's been trying to build their career from the ground up in MMA 
and then having her come over and just leap bounds over them and pay. So, I mean, there, there's there's good and bad in this. You know, there's there's some some sour in there along with the sweet when you when you start getting paid more than people who's really paid their just due. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm I'm proud of Clarissa. Um, I had I had faith in her. I I I had her at a, at an advantage. I said that she would more than likely pull this out. Um, I, I like I said before, her and her team picked the right opponent for her first MMA fight, but that's not taking anything away from her. She did her thing. And I want to say to the UFC community, y'all keep being 100, man, and showing love and respect. And and professional boxing community, pro boxing community, you guys could learn a thing or two from the UFC because y'all be hating. Y'all be tripping, and y'all be acting like a bunch of prima donnas, man. Like, get with it. Let's get with the UFC. Let's do what they do and show love and respect. You dig what I'm saying? Never mind my opinion or what I think about this. I want to know yours. Comment down below and let your boy Real Talk know, as always. Respect all, fair none, God bless. Until the next time, Real Talk Boxing. We up, and we out of here.